everybody. We're going to go over Big Dipper today, and the first thing we're going to start with is the measure before B in the trumpet and trombone parts. So I'd like to play along with the recording for this. I want you to listen to me play it first, and then we'll do it again with you playing as well. <laughs> After B, one, two, three, four, five, six. In that measure, you have some wah wah indications on those notes, but if you listen to the recording, they really don't do much wah wah. Listen to that. Here it is. So it's not very exaggerated, it's just da 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 da, very uh, minimal. So. And notice all of those syncopated notes are very separated. Try that with me. One, two. Again, two. All right. Let's go and put that together back um, right before B, playing with me this time. Here we go. time and I want you to take a look at before C one two three four five six seven this rhythm is not eighth notes this is a little bit different this is actually pickups into six before C okay there you go <laughs> short notes that I'm playing. Da 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 da. Do it with me. One, two. Again, two. Sing it. Two. Boo da boo da boo da do da do da. Again, two. Boo da boo da boo da boo da boo da. Play it. Two. Let's play it at tempo. One, two. is very long and connected but those first couple of notes do that do that kind of ricky ticky there okay and notice the we're gonna just go so you kind of go up a scale and decrescendo kind of like we do a fall where we go down a scale and decrescendo but this time we're going up okay i go up one octave it sounds appropriate to me all right Let's do that one more time, and then we're going to go to the saxophones. This is back a measure before B, all the way back there. Here we go. One, two, three, and uh. saxophones so brass you can go ahead and play along with us but I am going to work with the saxophones uh, saxophones this is starting 
we're gonna just start uh, in the same same spot. So I want you to notice two before B. Um, it's not written in your part, but they do a, a little bop, a little bend up to the note there. Um, you may have a little slight indication, maybe a little mark that somebody marked in there, and that's what that means. So we're going to start four before B in our part. And we're going to do this with the rhythm section track. All right. track that um, Chris Parker helped us put together is just a little bit slower than that recording uh, so that makes this really helpful to use this track for this particular um, uh, video that we're doing right now so I want you to notice that um, count with me before C one two three measures those first two notes they're just written as two normal eighth notes but they go da -wa. and we can listen to the recording again to hear that but they go they don't go. They don't even articulate the second note. They just do draw in and out. Jaw starts in and comes out. First, uh, this is before C, one, two, three bars. Try that that phrase with me uh, a little slower. One, two, three, and. And. No particular scale, just fingers down one at a time. Uh, with me again, one, two, three, and. under the marcato it's the last note of a slur we always want to tongue that note especially when it's followed by a rest try that with me saxophones this is pickups into the bar before c one two a one two three again one two three a little faster one two three all right this is three before c all saxophones one, two, three, and. All right, let's put it together going four before B, all the way to C, saxophones with me. Here we go.
everybody.